So with the steel, we were probably about 30, 35 cent percent complete. Um, as far as the project, we're probably about the same. Because okay. our, our target goal is the end of August, because we're shooting for our first home game is September 20th. It hasn't affected the field. Obviously, we're not using the scoreboard, uh, so it's kind of old club soccer days. The referee's keeping the, the, the everything on his watch, which is totally fine. So, But we, we definitely wanted to give our kids the opportunity to, to continue to play out here. The stadium had served its purpose for a very long time, and it was time for us to do some upgrades. And when we do them, when we're doing them, we needed to make sure it covered a couple of things, and the seating was certainly a part of it. Having the, the expanded space for coaches and visitors and cameras and game day operations and media booths as we're getting as football's getting better we're getting more and more media requests and we we're getting to a place where we couldn't just host all the people that wanted to come so yeah we wanted to make sure we had enough room that if anybody wanted to come we had a spot for it. 12,000 square feet and that's what I was just thinking I bet our other one was less than 2,000 so one big advantage besides the suites and the space in this one compared to what we had before the restrooms and the concession facility on the bottom. Huge upgrade, a lot bigger, um, and a lot more space. The whole bottom floor will be concession and restrooms. The additional seating. Yeah. I mean, we probably went from, from what, 3,000 total to 5,000 yeah, now. Yeah, okay. I think we'll be up over 5,000, okay. and that's where we needed to be. We want to make sure that was part of our planning uh, for this is to make sure we were over the GHSA's minimum seating capacity to host a semifinal game. We're just uh, very excited to finally be at this point and very excited to see the end product yeah. in the first game.